Hello everybody, this is Janey Maid. I'm Jeremy. This is a canvas and I'm going to show you how to make and stretch your own. So the first step to really making your own canvas is just get you a nice thick long roll of canvas. You can pick it up at like Hobby Lobby or something or you can go to online. I think it's called Duck Canvas. I'll link it below and buy a a really professional quality, really thick threaded canvas. Um, and the thicker you get, or the more higher quality canvas you get, the better it's going to be when you start to stretch it. So I use a one by three, which is right here. You can get a good view of that. Um, it's nice and thick for the borders. Um, previously, I'd use a one by two, which is like that. You can find either one of these at you know the big box store, at Home Home Depot, or or lows and you know that should be reasonably priced a little bit over a dollar for each uh which one of these I just buy them in a pack of six and maybe I buy twelve every time I go up there. So you're gonna need a good pair of canvas stretchers. I think I bought these on Amazon. They basically have a nice little ring on the side right here so that whenever you stretch it over the canvas it gives you leverage to stretch the canvas. So before you get started, what you're going to want to do is figure out the dimensions you want your canvas to be. Um, in my case, I want the length to be 20 inches and I want the width to be 14, which means I need to take into account that since I'm going to be doing a butt joint, which just means how I'm going to be joining my pieces together, this is a top view, is I'm going to be just butting up one piece to the next. There's no joint going here, so I need to take into account the length of each of these pieces and subtract that from this piece. Um, and each one of these is actually three quarters wide, so I need to subtract out two of those, which makes an inch and a half. If I want it to be 14 inches wide, I need to make it actually 12 and a half for these cuts. So just something to keep in mind. Get my pieces, we're ready to go. Once this is put together, this is how it's going to be laid out. Now, if I didn't put a brace here in the middle, then these have the potential to, to bow in when I start putting pressure with the canvas when I start stretching it. So we're going to need a, at least one looks like, because this isn't long enough to warrant one going this way. We're going to need one brace right here in the middle. So I went ahead and cut a one by two and that, that way I fit it right in the middle so I can make my brace. Notice how it's down off of the, the top here where the canvas won't touch. And you're going to need a couple bits. Um, one would be, would be as big as the head of the screw so you can countersink. And then one would be just a little tad bit smaller than the uh, width of the screw that's entering the wood. So you need that. You need some glue. Even though we're doing butt joints it does help. So to get started, it does help if you have a clamp similar to this, make a right angle easily um, for right angles. So that's what we're doing here. So you just take a width piece and a length piece, which is the one that is on it. And what we're going to do is put them in here. Go ahead, and go ahead and tap the glue. That way it gets as much coverage as possible. Put that in your clamp. enough to where that screw head it will go into it where it won't show when you stretch your canvas.
So once you're done, you should come out about like this. Where you've got all four corners butted up and nice and flush. So we're gonna put our brakes piece in. And remember that we're gonna want that lower. like this where it's nice and strong you can't bow the boards you've got your piece offset uh, towards the back it's not up towards the front where your canvas would be um, so when you paint you won't actually hit the board and leave a mark or anything like that it's off uh, the canvas will be stretched tight across the top of this um, so next we're just going to give this a light sanding canvas cut, you've got your frame built, so you're going to want to make sure the prime side, if it is pre-primed, um, is down, and then your canvas where it's flush and that middle piece is facing down, because we're going to be stretching it over the, the, the wood going this way. So to get started, just make sure you're centered and you got enough slack on every side. And what we're going to do, if you got a stapler like this, or you can use a handheld one, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Back and hammer in those uh, staples when we're done. But what we want to do is just start on one side in the middle, pull it a little tight, not real tight, put your staple and on the other side, go ahead and stretch it pretty tight, pull it, put you another staple. So that's one side. Now do the same on the other side, staple. Now you have a nice starting point in the middle of each one. Take the side and then grab your stretchers. Go ahead and grab down as far as you can. And use that one point on your stretchers like this for leverage against the wood. So you can see like this, I'm able to pull it nice and tight. Just put two staples. Do the same thing on the other side of this. Pull it nice and tight. So sometimes what we need to do is go back and take that middle staple out and get you flathead, just pop that baby out of there. Go back, pull it nice and tight. Get you another one. So what I do to keep everything, uh, when you stretch, you want to go ahead and flip it over. Now that I've done five on this side, I'm going to go ahead and do maybe seven or eight on this side and then go back to that side and make sure we're making it. We're stretching it even.
So for the fold, what you want to do is, this is the way I do it. Um, I keep the fold. I don't want it to be visible. Some people do it different ways. Um, the way I do it is I take all the slack and pull it tight like this. And then whatever excess is right here, I just go ahead and fold that at an angle. And I'll put a staple right there. You've got a nice tight canvas. It should sound like similar to a drone. Uh, what you may want to do is take some water, spray on there. Spray some water. Now, once that dries, it's going to pull nice and tight on the edges right here. Um, so, yeah, it turned out good. So you may be asking, Jeremy, why do I need to stretch my own canvas? I can just go to a craft store, pick up a canvas. It's um, you know not too expensive for the smaller ones. I mean that makes sense if you can buy them in bulk. My where I had issues is when I try to do bigger artwork. I do tend to paint fairly large, and I needed to save money, and there was no way I was going to pay hundreds of dollars for you know a canvas that's not really that big in, in reality so put the investment and time into figuring out how to stretch my own and this is exactly how I do it if you don't need one this small you need one bigger just scale it up really it's the same process for a big canvas as it is for a small one you certainly may need more braces in between to support the edges of the artwork but it's the same principle 
Um, just a matter of getting it done. So good luck.